Hi everyone, Carla here. So today I'm going to be sharing something. Um, it is for the Cynthia Lu Hu design team. And this is one of her templates that, um, that I used and designed, so, or decorated. So let me go ahead and show you what I used. Um, she has a template, and when you go on her website, it's called uh, Roundhouse. So here's what it looks like. And then you have the option of putting a hole there. And then the roof comes like this, and the base. And it's very easy to um, to understand. She makes it very simple, and her designs just come together very, very quickly. So here is the round house once it's decorated. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the right angle. Okay, so what I did here was... Let me just lift my camera here. Okay. What I did was um, I used this pink paper and this floral paper, and it is from this stack right here, the French Country Stack, and you can see how pretty all the different papers are. And um, so that's what I put on it, and then all of these flowers are wild orchid craft flowers, and um, you can just kind of see how they drape. And then this is the front, and then they come down this side also. Um, <clears throat> I use several different um, trims and appliques, so I will uh, share with you where I received those. So this one right here is actually from One Little Dreamer's shop, who's Artie. And um, so I took this, and it, it came in white, and so I sprayed it with my Lindy spray. And... Um, I think that I used two, and so it was saltwater taffy and um, clam baked beige that I used on these. And then this little doodad flower is from Lily's shop, who is Lily Lineka on Zibit. And then this trim here is from Suha Fuha, and she has an Etsy and a Zibit shop. And then this trim down here is also from Suha Fuha, and she has really unique things there. And then this bottom one is also from One Little Dreamer. And so I really wanted some dangle. And it was white, and I took my saltwater taffy spray and sprayed it um, just to give it a hint of that pink color. Um, in the back, I put that same applique that was in the front with the same doodad flower, and the trim is essentially all the same. And... I put it on this candlestick that you could get at the dollar store, and I wanted this to be functional because I'm <laughs> I'm needing a lot of um, organizational ideas here. But so it does open, and on the template you have the option of um, it. It has the little tabs here. Now, if you don't want it to close, there's little tabs that run along every edge that you can keep, and then glue it all in place. Otherwise, you would cut them off and just glue one of them so that you can use it. And then, yeah, so that's my um, my round house that I created. And I love it. And like I said, the design is so simple. And you can see it's a really good size. So, like, here's a pair of scissors, and it's bigger than the scissors. <laughs> like, yeah. And so... um the chipboard that I used is 40 point uh, chipboard that I got from Michaels and I've used heavier chipboard. I haven't used lighter chipboard because I like how sturdy it is. But um, anyways, if you have any questions, just ask. And I hope you all like my project. I had so much fun and, and I did this very quickly. The, the most cons uh, time consuming part was decorating it, but of course that was really fun. So anyway, I hope you guys like my house and I will see you all soon. Bye.